staying at the worst motel in Alabama. It sounded like someone was trying to break in our door. This motherfucker is under investigation. <laughs> what? I'm Tommy G, and today right. we're investigating the worst motel in Alabama. I grill in this gift, they should put me in the zoo. Pandemic flow, you would think I got the flu. I gamble on myself, you can bet I do a milli. From the mill, killing shit like Buffalo Billy. Oh, thanks to the first. Is this, is this him? <laughs> is that him? Tom, when I shot that Tim. We may encounter bugs. Tommy, I don't think you should touch a mic ever again. I, I don't think you I, I think you should stay far away from the microphone uh, and off a of beat definitely off a of beat uh, don't really people throwing up gang signs <laughs> and other scary things like people trying to bust in your room in the middle of the night will I recommend this stay to anybody no but I recommend you stick around to the end to find out and see what happens if they run out of rooms they do um allow you to reserve spots on their concrete in the parking lot folks life is about the journey we're here to explore discover and today's episode is a little bit different than usual you see today we're taking you to the worst motel in Alabama appropriately named the Bama Inn and to give you an idea of what this place is like let's read some reviews of the Bama Inn three months ago a woman named Selena wrote this absolutely the worst place to stay in, in the state of Alabama Janet said terrible hookers meth heads everywhere hookers Terrible hookers, meth heads, every day where, everywhere day and night. My husband and I got charged extra because a loose dog attacked ours. <laughs> Poor management, terrible owner. Whoa. Whoa, nigga. Why Alabama of all states, though? My husband got charged because of a loose dog attacked them. Oh, no, no, no. It, it, it attacked their dog. Okay, okay. And they got charged for that. Now, that's... Uh, wow. <laughs> Where day and night, Barry ball. said, one of the staff stole my money. Judy Nagel Nagel said, horrible. Maid stole money. Robin Rob Hammond Briggs said, Bama Inn is probably the absolute worst motel in Alabama. The operation happened on a Monday afternoon in late March. Police tell us the six men arrested each approached an undercover officer and offered him or her between five and forty dollars for various sex acts. Now at this point, you might be asking me, Tommy, why the heck are you going to this place? What I for content, of course. I'd do it too, for only for content. I say to have my this. Twi my my job. Kit Kat, Kit Kat, my kick chat right here. This, yo, um, this cash demi. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up? is to discover the underworld to go off the beaten path i don't stay on the resort i don't go to the touristy spots i go to the places where things really go down now let me give you some context about me and the boys going into this episode we had been on the road for a while we had drove from milwaukee to atlanta to alabama and now we were on the road they drove they drove towards Tennessee. Wow. so at this point we were tired slap happy and ready for whatever the bama Inc. could throw at us with that in mind let's begin today's episode <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's not even a lobby to walk into because it's so dangerous. There's just a glass window you go up to get your room. <laughs> We're looking to get a room, a double double queen. I got one room with a double bed and it's strictly no smoking room. We don't smoke. No pets. Wow, well, it's so it's fucking the Indian nigga, of course. Of course. Of course. Indian nigga, of course. No matter the place, no matter the fucking place, there's always an Indian nigga doing customer service. No pets? No pets. Without, no, without we don't fail. Have any pets. Okay. Do people often bring pets here? I mean, yeah, some sneak their pets in too. Is this I bulletproof just... glass? We ate Indian food. Oh my god. What room did we get? 201. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good one. Damn, dude, video just started. What the f are we doing here? <laughs> when I thought of motel, I did not think like thuggery. I thought like white trash. This place is a shit <laughs> We finna have no stuff. <laughs> <laughs> First sign of trouble. What is that? That is for rats. Whoa, this is this is perfect, isn't it? 
Someone was using tin foil and lighting to burn back. That's not a good sign. For security, we have our car parked directly in front of the room. We have these lovely uh, duct tape to tell us which door is ours. But we didn't get that luxury here at this fine establishment. Barricade this door. Here's our next step. We have to figure out if it's safe bug wise to bring our stuff in here. <sighs> oh, fucking food. Are these cigarette burns, dude? I don't know if this is a bug. Ew. Someone just burned cigarettes through this. Ew, I can't imagine how fucking bad it smells in here. You know how much bodily fluid is here? Oh, first hair. Honestly, it could be worse. Look. Is that a roach? Yeah, it's a roach. Oh, what the? What the? <laughs> What the fuck <laughs> even is that? Is this blood? Well, how are there so many holes? Like, are people just lighting cigarettes? <laughs> it's Evan Ella blunts. No. I would not make even a hot pocket in this thing. Not bad, minus whatever this is. Now, the luxurious bathroom. Kids, you know why you don't smoke? Pretend this was your lungs. It started off nice and whatever, cream colored, and then all the smoke gets on there. Now you can't breathe when you want to play sports. You know what, the shower is like, you can definitely, oh. <laughs> First live bug. Now we have to figure out how are we sleeping in here? What are we gonna do for bedding? Okay, get a cheap Fruit of the Loom sweatsuit, tuck it into our socks with a hoodie, and just lay on top of the sheets. And get the tarp. Think we get a tarp? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should get a tarp. Yeah, two get tarps. Get a tarp for each bed? Yeah. I'm gonna send our pest control contact some of these pictures so he can confirm for us. Just because of the reviews that we've read, I'm gonna preemptively call pest control to see if I can schedule an appointment for tomorrow morning. Thank you for calling Cook's Pest Control. Could we text you pictures of what we encounter? Yeah, I'll be glad to identify something. If you send me a picture, I can tell you what, uh, what it is. I got your picture message here. I'm about 90. Thank you, because they need to go ahead and shut that shit down. Um, they need to shut that shit down. Please. 5% sure. They all appear to be German roaches. German roaches? It's a tricky pest to get rid of, but it requires a special service, and it's definitely something that wouldn't go away with one treatment. The owners of the hotel need to know about it. How long are you staying in that room? as least amount of time as possible make sure you take your suitcases inspect them thoroughly they're definitely breeding in the unit because there's nymphs and adults so if any of those eggs get laid in your belongings you're going to carry along with you i already just feel itchy right now sir i understand the staff needs to know about it i appreciate you getting back to us real quick and i hope you have I think like the like their staff is going to do anything yo I don't know. Someone needs to come and condemn this place, nigga. They need to shut this shit down. For a good night. I would call you again, but I don't want to bug ya. You're, you're fine. Snitch me out of seeing a lot. How these niggas turn to rest when they get locked up in the box? I don't even like to talk. Man, I don't talk at all. All right, let's get our checklist together. We're for sure gonna need like a sweatsuit and cheap clothes to wear that we can throw away and incinerate afterwards. <laughs> Number two, we're gonna need security. So some sort of door jam and keep someone from entering our door. That was a common complaint that people just enter your room while you're in it. <laughs> Toiletries, because we're not bringing our own shit in here. We're staying in a bug infested motel room and we're trying to not touch the sheets with our body. So we're getting a tarp so we can sleep on top of that. So that's not gonna let you sweat a lot. <laughs> since it's plastic better or than you're getting, experimenting <laughs> no better than getting eaten by bugs right oh yeah that's true we have an extra spot in the room if you want to join <laughs> unless you're gonna hire me for security you gotta go now. yeah always <laughs> this is alabama <laughs> let me show you where that thing on her. What the i'm from fuck? i'm jamaican no you sound like you're from alabama <laughs> we're sleeping in the same room but it's not like that you know what i mean <laughs> is this what do you call that series on tv um, um, how I met my Jamaican wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, 90 day fiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it against the um, lock. This episode is sponsored by Brinks Home Security. Why is he flirting with this Jamaican woman? Her big ass. 30. <laughs> if you have drug addicts trying to bust into your room at night, Brinks Home Security. Let me show you the reviews. This place is ghetto. Someone was smoking crack downstairs. <laughs> they had a lot of baby roaches. I wish you all the best, okay? Hey, may God be with you. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you need it more. We're not wearing any of our clothes into this room. 
because we're not crazy. So we need to buy full sweatsuits and socks. We're filming an episode for the Travel Channel. We're staying in the Alabama Inn. Are you guys familiar with that place? Oops. Oh, you poor guys. We have a tarp we're gonna put over the bed, and we also have a um, security lock. Are we missing anything from our equation? Uh, a gun. Gang, gang. All right, be safe. Uh -huh. We didn't want to change at the motel, so we're changing the Walmart parking lot where it's safer. The one thing we didn't anticipate is if there's a faction of bloods stationed at this motel. We're wearing all blue. We don't want to get it bopping. We don't want there to be a bobbery. Actually, a Bizalted. We don't want to get. Um, we don't want to get kidnapped. We don't want to get bested. We don't want to get bad buffed and baped. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey! Do you guys think this is a good idea to stay at the worst motel no. in Alabama? No. 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 Do we look suspicious right now? No. Okay. And also, what do you think of our? Look perfectly normal. Thank you. What do you think of our Scooby Doo socks? Very good. Very cool. Very cool. I'll Very show you guys cool. Milwaukee dance moves. Phase one is to scout out what we're working with. We're gonna send up the drone and we're gonna see, assess the situation. So Miguel is launching the drone. Yes, sir. He's sending the drone behind enemy lines. One element of being stealthy is to not draw any extra attention to yourself. <laughs> this happens every once in a while. Dude. Let's go into the command center. Brigadier General Miguel, what do you see so far? Go I didn't read my chat, bro. Blood tripping. He said, do you do music reactions? Fuck you then. Damn, nigga. <laughs> I would have reacted. I just wasn't reading chat, bro. I was watching a video. Um, damn. That guy that in the ledge. Why do you want what to is that? <laughs> Is he throwing up gang signs? <laughs> This place is crawling too, by the way. <laughs> I think this is what the police would call a hot spot. <laughs> oh my God. It's one thing to stay at a motel that doesn't take care of its shit. It's another to totally stay in a, like, a place where you feel like you might die. <laughs> People are gonna think we're the government. <laughs> I just have to say that objectively, we look ridiculous <laughs> right now. We all have Scooby-Doo socks on, baby blue suits. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime preparation, boys. Hey, bitch, you know what the fuck going on? If you get out of line, we gonna get your ass gone. Put your ass on a shirt. I ain't talking sleeve long. Kick that bitch out the bin. Bitch, you suck the D wrong. It's 2023. I just... Should we test it? Where you go outside, I set it up, and you try and break in? Sure. Set it up, and you try and break in? Sure. It's going to be a polite okay. blood breaking in. The plan now is just to relax a little bit. We've been on the road. We've been, went from Milwaukee, Chicago, Atlanta, Alabama. Tomorrow we leave to go to Tennessee and then back to Milwaukee. So this is a road trip. <laughs> All right, let's test the sink. Strong force on the sink. Do they have towels here? And do we use no, a towel? There's no towels. There's no towels? <laughs> My secret to going to sleep fast every single night is reading a book. Sometimes it's a biography. Sometimes this is a classic, all right? This is an absolute. Of course, nigga. Of course, bro. The secret of the secret is reading because it's fucking boring. Class. A book can just take you to a whole nother world. Sometimes when you're in a tough area, tough situation, you want to go to another world. Good night, folks. I'll see you in the morning. Was it at our door 100%? 100% that was at our door. Yeah. I heard it like right next to my head. Mm -hmm. So they just try it to see if we're, I think they just tried it. The Google reviews did say <laughs> that people try and get into your room or out here. I keep kind of hearing some like squirrels yeah. out there. Someone's out there now. The next three hours are prime crime hours from midnight. 
that a woman screaming? 100% a woman screaming. From midnight? So far, no bugs though, right? I feel like it's been a bug free night. Oh my god. They got through the night, man. That's the worst part. That's the, that's the worst part, ain't it? Long, long night. Let's explore. Oh, he's going fast. He's zooming. Little bastard. Oh, there's one over here too. Really? This is not acceptable. We didn't have towels. The sheets were dirty, gross, and there's bugs in our room. Let's go confront them. Morris, how you doing? Guess what? There was bugs all over the room. There was no towels. There was a whole family of roaches. And it looks like there was a crime scene on the sheets. Did you know that there was bugs there? No, I mean, the room was clean. Stop the cap. <laughs> You're lying. Literally, the first step we took in there, we saw bugs. You can come we look been, with we us. Have been doing periodical, uh, control. Can we get any towels? Yeah, but the thing is, we don't have towels here on the front How long would it take to get towels? Yeah. An hour? Come on, man. What do you want us to do? We haven't showered yet since we've been here. We checked in at 6 last night. <laughs> Come on. He's just lying to my <laughs> face. Oh, I'm very sorry. I promise I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, this mother didn't give us any towels and he said there's no towels here oh uh, yeah man it's the most ratchetest hotel it is man <laughs> it's just dude, crazy man dude, we moved in we saw roaches then i go talk i'm like hey man uh you know there's bugs there and he's like oh no the housekeepers were in there i'm like no literally like from step one into the room we saw i, I moved up out of here it was a big ass rat it was a big ass <laughs> rat that was up under my sink Big ass rat came up under my door and I got scared and jumped on the bed and I told them they didn't do nothing about it. So I moved out and I moved to the um the southern country down there. It's way better. I'm gonna keep it real. It's drug infested. Damn near everybody died of fentanyl in this motherfucker. Like this motherfucker's under investigation, bro. <laughs> what? Swear to God, bro. Swear to God. They will not give you a refund. After 15 minutes, you done um, checked in. Say if you give them your money and you go check out your room, like you say, you got roaches, rats. 15 minutes go by and then you try to go back, they won't give you a refund. Like, this is the worst hotel in Huntsville to stay at. We're gonna keep this investigation going, sir. You have a good day, okay? Too, All right, we're gonna see who else is up. <laughs> Every single door opens up. They didn't give us no towels. Yo, oh, I could rap a little bit. Ready? Okay. Yo, it's Tommy G. I'm at the Bama Inn. Let me tell you how many bugs I saw in my room. It may, maybe want to sleep in I could have kept tomb better, rather than in my room because I felt a little nasty. But then I didn't feel great like Great Gatsby. Oh, so I went into my shower. I guess what there was? There was a roach. So of course I jumped really far. So I didn't touch the roach. But I still touched it once or twice. I rolled the dice. We slept on tarps tonight. What do we eat it? That's a good question. <laughs> do you think this place is up to expectations? Everything could do an upgrade, you know. All right, sir. Well, hey, stay safe. I hope you had a good night's sleep. All right, take it easy. Dude, we still haven't gotten our towels in this. Oh, shit, bro. What's up? Uh, are you, uh, hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come reserve them. <laughs> Why? Hey, we checked in at six. And well, we, dude, we still have not got our towel. Oh, f I can't fucking five. It's almost five and a half an hour. Bro, I'm geeking so hard, dude. I said it was five and a half an hour. It's just now one. And once I cut the camera. Where? I think he thinks that's his sister. What would you guys do? The front desk is claiming that they don't have access to towels. That shit don't make sense. Y'all got access to the rooms, y'all got access to towels. That's like being like, man, I got I got uh I got gold, but I don't have gold accessories. Uh, we gotta we gotta get an extra key that we lost to get to the diamond vault. Like what the f Do we ask for a refund? They ain't gonna give you no refund, dude. Is this place known for <laughs> no, yeah, like, shiesty practice? He's off the bean, nigga. He's off some worse than weed, nigga. Practices? Oh, so, yeah, on, got, on rolling definitely, He's definitely on meth. He's definitely on meth, bro. He's definitely doing meth. He's crip, man. He's definitely. Like, seriously, though, like, you know how many times me and my girl done checked in and they just trespassed me? I got to know where, like, I'm like, damn, I can't get my money back? Oh, damn, dude, I'm tripping so hard that that was my girl. That's an old ass woman. But um, if they run out of rooms, they do um allow you to reserve spots on their concrete, on the con in the parking lot. I've seen them rent out the laundry room. <laughs> what drug is that, dude? 
He's like tech, in psychosis mode. Yeah. I actually feel for both the residents and the owners. Either card would be a hard one to be dealt. This seems like more of a rough times, long term state kind of a place. They don't have towels, so we should probably just hit the road. Yeah, let's hit the road. The boys got to bond, and that's important. I think a lot of times in life you bond over the, the difficult things. When you realize that when you go through tough things with people, that's the some of the best memories you'll ever have. I'm angry at the owners, but I also have a sympathy for them. If your client was Mr. Hallucinating on his bike, it would be hard to keep a nice place. That guy is inviting bugs in all day. But do they really care? Did they really clean the room? You don't have towels, dude? Like these are some things that you could have won yourself some points, but you didn't. So we're gonna have to go find a truck stop, take a shower, and hit the road. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on this journey. We'll see you next week. Bro, I would never want to stay there. Even during hard times, I I I'd figure something out. <laughs> what the fuck?